Hello? Hello! I'm back today with another nail tutorial. I'm finally using the Kiara Sky Jelly Tip System. I've been sitting on this for a while. I've been trying out the system. I wanted to really get to know it so I could produce the best possible video. It's gonna be jam-packed with information like all of my other videos when I'm using a system for the first time on camera. I kind of try to predict what you're gonna ask me in the comments, so don't skip through the video because you might miss little details. As always, for anybody that is new to my channel, I'm not a professional nail tech, I'm not a professional nail anything, I'm just a gal at home trying to save a couple bucks. I do this as a hobby on myself, I don't do other people's nails, and everything I learned has been through trial and error, and using myself as a guinea pig, so I'm not a pro, nor am I claiming to be. That being said, this system is pretty easy to use. I have been teasing this tutorial for a while on my community tab, on my Instagram, in the comment sections of some of my videos, so I really hope that it was worth the wait. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Everything that I used will be listed in the description box below. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed, and let's get into it. Alrighty, here are my nails in their natural state. Uh, this pandemic has not been kind to my hands or my cuticles. They are dry and crusty as hell. My thumbnail is a bit bumpy and uneven as per usual, but that will all change shortly. As always, I'm starting out by prepping my nails, which is super important if you want a perfect finished result. I'm applying my Sally Hansen Instant Cuticle Remover to my cuticle area. I'm letting it sit for a bit to soften the skin around my nails, and then I'm taking the paddle side of my cuticle pusher tool, and I'm pushing back my cuticles and scraping away any dead skin around my nails. I'm then taking a bit of my CND nail surface cleanser on a lint-free wipe and I'm wiping away all of the mush around my nails, leaving behind all of this dead hangy skin that will be gently trimmed away with my cuticle nippers. Once my cuticles are all cleaned up, I'm wiping my nails again and then I'm trimming them with my nail clippers. Whenever I apply nail extensions of any sort, I like to start off with super short natural nails so that they don't peek out underneath the nail extension. I just find it to be more hygienic and aesthetically pleasing. Today, I will be working with the Kiara Sky Jelly Tip System. You guys have been requesting that I try out this kit for a while now. It took me a minute to get my paws on it because it sold out at the start of the pandemic and it didn't come back in stock till around May and I've been getting to know it since. So before we get started, let's just go over some helpful information that I just know I'll get asked in the comments. Uh, firstly, what are jelly tips? As per the Kiara Sky website, jelly tips are full cover, pre-shaped, easy to apply, soak off, soft gel, nail extensions. They're light weight and super strong, specially designed to last up to three weeks with no chipping or lifting and a time-saving alternative compared to traditional nail enhancements. These are not to be confused with nail extensions that you've seen me use in the past made of ABS. These are made of soft gel, which is a more gentle alternative to acrylic and hard gel and is specifically designed to be soaked off using acetone within 15 to 20 minutes. So here is the kit that I went with. The jelly tips come in five 
five different shapes. I decided to go with the long coffin kit. Each box contains 500 tips and the inside of the box is numbered as are the tips. So the smaller the number, the larger the tip. Like I mentioned, these are already pre-shaped so they don't require a lot of extra filing. But the reason I decided to go with the long coffin shape is because I figure if I want long nails, I can leave them as they are. And then if I want a shorter coffin shape, I can always trim them and file them down. It's kind of like two shapes for the price of one, you know? You can also purchase additional boxes of tips separately. So I decided to pick up the medium square shape, which I will use in a future video. The kit also comes with a nice little instructional pamphlet and four bottles. Each bottle is numbered, which is a helpful visual for order of application. Bottle one is a pH bonding prep, which is a dehydrator. Bottle two is a primer, which removes excess oils from the nail beds. Bottle three is a clear builder gel, which is a soft gel used to adhere the jelly tips to your natural nails. And bottle four is a non-wipe gel top coat. You also receive this cute little Beyond Pro flash cure LED lamp with the kit. And this comes with warranty and a little info pamphlet. The lamp has an on and off button on the back and it comes with a USB wall plug and adapter. Now I've never tried the appraise system before myself, but I have seen a lot of videos using it. And the main complaint I've seen across the board is that the little lamp that it comes with is super hard to work with for DIYers. I'm guessing Kiara's guy kept this in mind when designing their hands-free lamp. The C-shape freestanding design allows you to easily slide your fingers under it while holding your jelly tip in place with your other hand. So it's a DIYer's dream. Now that that's out of the way, it is time to size the tips to my natural nails. Unlike half cover tips, you do have to size the whole nail, not just the tip. The key is to make sure that the tip fits perfectly on your natural nail from sidewall to sidewall. The cuticle area around my thumbs tends to be fairly square, so I always find myself having to shape the tip and fill in this little gap here. I'm just gonna use a hand file to do this, and once I have the cuticle area of the tip nice and squared out, I'm gonna have to file down a bit of the sides as well. If you're in between tip sizes, you can easily shape them to fit correctly. Once I've sized my tips, it's time to remove the shine from the inside of the tip. And when doing this, you just wanna rough up the part of the tip that comes in contact with your nail bed. I'll be using a Kiara Sky 5-in-1 fine drill bit to do this, but you can use a smaller bit if you're more comfortable. Either a cuticle bit or an underneath the nail bit would do the job. If you do not have an e-file, you can try to do this with a smaller hand file or even a cuticle stick as you've seen me demonstrate in previous videos. It takes a bit more work, but it does get the job done. Okay, so I've got my tips picked out and roughed up. Now I'm going to remove the shine from my natural nails using a gentle hand file. I've already evened out my thumb with, I think it was like a 180 grit. And then I'm wiping the excess dust off with a little alcohol and a lint-free wipe. Alrighty, moving on to applying my jelly tips. I've got my little LED lamp on standby and I'm starting by dehydrating my natural nail with step one, which is the prep, followed by step two, which is the primer. Next, I'm applying a thin, even layer of step three, which is the builder gel, and I'm curing it in my mini LED lamp for 30 seconds. Using the same builder gel, I'm applying a thin layer to the inside of my jelly tip 
And when doing this, I'm making sure to apply it just to the area that I've roughed up that will be in contact with my natural nail. When applying the jelly tip to my nail, I start by placing the cuticle area down first and slowly pressing the tip down along my natural nail, applying just enough pressure to squeeze out any air bubbles. It's easier if your lamp is turned on already when doing this so that you can just slide your fingers under it right away and you don't have to worry about hitting the on button and possibly nudging your tip out of place while doing so. The instructions say to flash cure for 10 seconds while holding your tip in place with your other hand and then removing your hand and curing for an additional 30 seconds. But because I wasn't covering the tip while flash curing, I just cured for 40 seconds uninterrupted. So the thumb is looking good. Now I'm going to move on to the rest of my fingers. I'm applying the prep to all of my nails followed by the primer. Once my nails are prepped and primed, I'm applying my builder and jelly tips one by one, starting with my index finger. Once again, I am first applying a very thin layer of the builder gel to my natural nail and I'm carrying it in my LED lamp for 30 seconds. Next, I'm applying a thin layer of the builder gel to the inside roughed up part of my tip. I'm turning on my lamp and I'm placing it at my cuticle area, slowly applying pressure from the cuticle to the free edge to push out any air bubbles. And then while still applying pressure, I'm slowly sliding my hands under the LED lamp to cure for 40 seconds. As you can see, a little bit of excess gel oozed out at my free edge, but that can be easily filed away with my under nail cleaning bit, which I'll do later later on. So I will say, although this kit is super easy and user friendly, just like all other systems, there is a bit of a learning curve in the beginning. The first time I used it, I had a bit of trouble steadily holding my tip on my finger while sliding it under the lamp and maintaining a straight nail application. I think like three out of the first five nails I applied ended up applying crooked. So you just have to figure out the best way to position your lamp in front of you so that you can slide your fingers under it smoothly and steadily. Steadily. Another way you could go about curing your tip is applying the builder to the inside, placing your tip on your nail with your free hand, and then holding the tip in place with your thumb on the same hand, and then holding the lamp over your finger with your free hand for 10 seconds, and then curing it on its own for 30 seconds. This method, however, is not my favorite because I find when I press my thumb onto my nail to hold it in place while I grab the lamp, the tip kind of slides from side to side, which can result in air bubbles or a crooked nail. I just don't find that I have as much control this way, but it might very well work for you. Alrighty, moving on, I've got my tips on and while the long coffin look is gorgeous, I do have a lot of typing to do this month, so I have to take off some of the length to match my right hand using my tip cutters. Could I have purchased the medium length coffin tips and bypassed this trimming process? Yes, but who knows what my mood will be like next month. Maybe I'll wanna go with a long coffin look. And like I said earlier, by getting the long coffin tips, I have the option to wear them long or trim them down at no additional cost. Now I'm going to clean up the excess gel that oozed out underneath my nail with my under nail cleaning bit and I find little steps like this really give me a more professional and sanitary end result. While the tips don't really require much shaping, I am going to go in with a hand file and straighten out my tips and the sides of my nails because I'm a perfectionist and I'm also removing the shine from the surface of my nails.
Once my nails are filed and shaped to perfection, it's time to give the cuticle area a bit more of a natural appearance. I did file down the cuticle area a little bit with my hand file, but I'm gonna go over everything with my e-file to smooth out the cuticle area so that when my nails grow out, there isn't a harsh gap between my tips and my cuticles. Again, this is an extra step that to me elevates the manicure. So once I'm done with my e-file, I'm switching over to my buffing block and giving the cuticle area one last buff, and then I'm wiping away the excess dust with a little bit of alcohol on a lint-free wipe. So I really love the color combo on my right hand. I think it's super pretty. I applied three coats of Kiara Sky's Exposed Gel Polish and I topped it off with the Kiara Sky Rub-On Powder in the shade Mermaid. But I do wanna do something different on my left hand, so I'll be using the shade Chit Chat. This gorgeous, cool-toned pink is right up my alley. And I think I did about three or four coats of this to reach my desired opacity and I cured it in my large lamp for 30 seconds between each coat.
Whenever I apply multiple coats of gel polish, I like to go back in and reshape my nails a little bit so that the edges are nice and crisp. I could finish off my manicure with some top coat and call it a day because this gel polish is gorgeous, but I really thought the mermaid rub-on powder would look super pretty over top of this cool toned pink, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. When working with their rub-on powder, Kiara Sky recommends that you use their special rub-on non-wipe top coat, but I don't have that one, so I just use the top coat that came with my kit, and I cured it in my LED lamp for 60 seconds. As I was playing around with the rub-on powder, I discovered that you can actually get pretty different results depending on how you apply it. So here what I've done is I've applied their non-wipe top coat first, I cured it, and then I went in with the rub-on powder using the Kiara Sky rub-on applicator until the powder was fully absorbed into the nail. This method will definitely give you the most intense coverage. So once the powder is on, I'm finishing off with top coat again and curing my nails for 60 seconds. As I was experimenting with the rub-on powder, I discovered that for a more subtle look, you can just apply your gel polish of choice. Here I use Chit Chat again so that I can do a side-by-side -side comparison. Cure each coat of gel polish and then instead of applying the rub-on base or top coat first, go straight in with a rub-on powder on top of your gel polish of choice, either using the applicator or your fingertips. And you can already see how much more subtle that looks because less powder is being absorbed into the nail. Once you have your desired look, just finish off with top coat and cure as usual. And here is a side-by-side -side of the two different methods. I'm kind of leaning towards the more subtle look, which is what I did on my right hand. I went in with three coats of the Kiara Sky shade in Exposed, cured between each coat, and then I went straight in with the Mermaid Rub-On Powder. Because the nail is not as sticky upon curing, less powder absorbs into the nail, giving it a more subtle, scattered appearance. Anyway, I just just wanted to show you what I discovered while playing around with the rub-on powder. Back to my manicure. Because I used a non-wipe top coat, there is no need for me to wipe my nails again, so I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of cuticle oil to rehydrate the skin around my nails. And I've also really been liking this honey lemon hand and cuticle salve that I found on Amazon. It smells good enough to eat, and it feels really nice and hydrating on my dry ass hands. So that concludes this tutorial. I really love how these turned out, and I think I'm kind of in love with the Kiara Sky Jelly Tip system. I hope you guys enjoyed this 
tutorial and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. This manicure, by the way, lasted about three weeks and I've already filmed a follow-up video demonstrating how I do a fill, so stay tuned for that. As always, everything that I use will be listed in the description box below. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing and staying subscribed and I'll see you in my next one. Okay, love you, bye.